What's up guys and welcome back to another ultimate review from the Ultimate Tech Hub. On today's video, we're going to test and review this wireless controller for your Switch. This wireless controller is from a company called QTime and this controller retails for $29.99. And just a heads up, Nintendo makes their own controller, however, it's priced at $69.99. Wow. <laughs> so today, our goal is to test this controller thoroughly. So first, let's open the box and see what's inside. And full disclosure, QTime did provide this controller for free for a thoughtful and honest review. So make sure to watch till the end of the video to get our full review. And guys, remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. First, you get a USB Type-C charger. And just a heads up, any USB Type-C charger will work with this controller. And that's great news. And this is your wireless controller. Right off the bat, I like the colors. The black with the red and the blue, it really matches the Nintendo Switch well. And lastly, you also get a user guide which shows you how to pair your controller with your Switch. So first thing we need to do is charge the controller completely. And once it's charged, we're ready to pair it. Pairing this controller is very simple. In your settings menu on your Switch, go to airplane mode and then turn it on. Then go to controllers and sensors and go to change grip order. Press the home button for three to five seconds and for us, it paired right away. Very easy. Before we start playing, let's take a look at the buttons on the controller. Like I said before, I like the color combination. These are your two controls, left and right, and both controls move easily, as expected. And here are the four buttons, X, Y, A, and B. And the D-pad is located next to the left controller. And these are the wireless channel indicators. And the left and right handles have a texture for gripping. And I like that a lot. And here's a side view of the buttons. And you can see how far they're raised up. And it's pretty typical for most controllers. Now let's go to the top of the controller. We have the home button, minus button, turbo button, plus button, and finally a screenshot button. And here is R1 and R2 and L1 and L2. And these buttons feel typical of most controllers. And here's your USB Type-C charging port. And on the back of the controller, it looks as though this controller is held together with three screws. Right here. And just a heads up, this controller does not have a microphone. Oh. And one more thing, you can connect this controller to your Windows PC with a wired connection, but not wireless. Now it's time to test it out with some games. I'm gonna play a quick game of Mario Maker to get a feel for the buttons, and let's see if there's any latency or lag. And just a heads up, this controller feels kind of light. I think I'm used to PS5 controllers, which are a little bit heavier. And this controller gives off a lot of vibration. As far as the controller, like the buttons, there is no latency or lag. It feels very responsive. And this controller supports three auto adjustable turbo speeds, five shoots, 12 shoots, and 20 shoots, and three different levels of double vibration, weak, medium, and strong. But even the weak feels pretty strong. And this controller should last eight to 10 hours on a full charge. Now I'll let my son play with the controller and see what he thinks. That's the real test. So first, let's go ahead and start with Mario Kart. It's one of our favorites. For this review, I'll let my son do all the testing. He plays Switch more than I do. So his opinion matters more. So we'll play a few games, and then I'll ask him how it felt. Pros and cons. And we did buy the more expensive controller when we first got the Switch. So we're gonna see if this budget controller can perform just as well as the expensive controller. So now let's go ahead and play a few games 
and then we'll give you our review. So right off the bat, I noticed that my son's hands held the controller well. It appears to be the perfect size. Not too big and not too small. So now after playing a few games, I'll ask my son what he thinks about the controller. Get his honest opinion. And as we all know, teenagers can be brutally honest. <laughs> uh. Alright Sebastian, how's the controller feel? It feels nice. Does it feel better than the original controller you used to use? Yes. And would you use this controller or the old controller? Use this controller. Alright. How's the vibration feel on it? Very responsive and nice. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice score there. How are the buttons? Are they easy to press? Yes. Is the controller heavy or is it light? It feels nice and Is it light? light? Is it light? Yeah. Like compared to the PS5 controller, it's probably light, huh? Yes. Yeah. And so would you recommend this controller for $29? Yes. Yeah, because the original Switch controller is like $69. That's kind of yeah. expensive, huh? Really expensive. Yeah. Nintendo products. So your review is what? You recommend this controller? Yep. So what is the final verdict for this controller? Well, my son played a few games with it, and he loves it. It plays just as well as the more expensive controller. The only thing that remains to be seen is durability. And that's because we've had this controller for less than a week. But so far, so good. I can safely say this controller is worth $29.99 and does perform just as well as the more expensive controller. And there'll be a link in the description below to where you can buy this controller. And guys, I want to encourage you to visit my Patreon page where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And for every new member, we do a personal shout out in the very next video. And guys, remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great day.